Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Uh, this is Dave Hayes and we're going to go over a new ROM this time. Uh, it's not a brand new ROM but it's fairly new to me. Um, one of you uh, actually requested that I do this. This is called AOSP Extended. Uh, I am going to do this themed. Uh, I'm going to do it my way this time. I know you guys, uh, some of you guys, it's about a 50-50 thing. I don't like it when I show them themed. Um, but I'm just going to do it this way because this is the way I like to do it. Um, and I just think it looks good. Uh, this is an awesome ROM, guys. Um, I'm, I'm actually quite glad uh, that this was brought up to me uh, on my Google Plus community. Um, and and that, that I had a chance to actually check it out. Uh, I am running the stock launcher that comes with it. Um, and it's working great. I've had no issues whatsoever. Now, I the Google Assistant app... Actually, uh, the way I had to get it to work was I had to say the phrase, okay, and then, you know, after that, I don't want to say it now because I don't want to get it started. Uh, and then I had to allow Google Assistant uh, to work. Uh, but it did work. Now, it's not, I don't think, as good as some of the other ones. There are a couple ROMs out there that really feature this, uh, Dark ROM being one of them. Uh, but it does work. Um, also, if you guys download and install the uh, app called Allo, uh, that has the Google Assistant app built right into it, and it works, and it works great. So if you really want to run that, I say go ahead for or go for it. Um, this ROM just doesn't come rooted, so if you want to root it, you're going to have to root it yourself. I'm running, uh, the root I'm using on it is um, uh, Magisk, and now I'm not using the Magisk Manager, I'm just using the straight uh, PHHS uh, super user, that's what I'm using, and it's working great, guys. Uh, I am using um, Reventech's latest build. Uh, it's 2.2.3 .2 um, of Blackbird Kernel, uh, just because I like Blackbird Kernel. Um, this is AOSP. Uh, it is not supposed to force encrypt. I don't think it will. Uh, I would double check if I were you if you're really interested in that. Um, I just use uh, Blackbird's Kernel just to make sure. And I like it. I like the features that uh, are in this kernel. Um, it also allows me to be permissive uh, as far as SE Linux is concerned, and that's another reason I like the kernel. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get right into the custom settings of this ROM because there, there are a few more than what I thought was going to be in it, and they're pretty cool. Um, first up, status bar items. Guys, pick and choose what you want to show in your status bar by simply picking uh, what you want out of there. Next up, clock and date. Uh, pretty much standard affair with a couple caveats, and they are, uh, this allows you to pick your font size, which I think is awesome. Um, I think the font sizes of the stock uh, AOSP is a little too small for my taste. Yes, I can live with it, and I have, uh, but I would much rather uh, be allowed to change that to whatever I want it. I usually run around 16 or 17 DPI, uh, and it works great for me. Um, I'm also running my own fonts. For those of you that don't like it, sorry guys. Um, I, I've decided I want to show this the way I run the ROM. You guys can change it however you like. We all know what a stock flashed ROM looks like, all right? Um, and it's just got a lot of really cool features as far as the, uh, the clock goes. Um, being able to color it would be cool, but I get it. I, I know what the conflicts are with that, and I understand why they don't do that. Uh, next up is going to be your battery options. Now, in this, you're going to get both your battery bar and your battery options. So, battery bar options are first up. Uh, you can pick and choose if you even want to run a battery bar. Uh, this is going to be where you go to do that. Plus, this is going to be where you uh, choose your color for that. Uh, you have your charging animations at the bottom along with your alignment. Uh, next up is going to your next up is going to be your battery itself. Uh, these are the uh, um, the choices that uh, this developer gives you for this. Uh, quite a few. Uh, I have mine hidden because I'm just going to run with the battery bar. I would love to see the three minute mod incorporated into this. Um, I think that would be the icing on the cake for this ROM. Uh, also guys, uh, I am not running char or I'm not running with my uh, charger plugged in uh, and I'm running this at 1440 um, uh, as far as my resolution recordings going. Uh, everything is HD, uh, brightness is 100%. Please don't watch my battery gauge and say, this ROM sucks, the battery drains crazy. Um, it's going to drain, guys. I'm recording and I'm doing a lot of things in the background. Next up, traffic indicators. If you guys want to run with them, this is where you go for that. Uh, carrier label, if you want to run with a custom carrier label, 
uh, go for it. Now, I was running with AOSP.ext, uh, which what I was uh, using for there for a while. I can't even talk. Uh, but I decided to clean my status bar up a little bit, so I did uh, go without it. But if you want it, uh, it's as simple as you know, clicking on it. It'll go up there. You can change the DPI settings, uh, make it larger, smaller if you want. Be careful if you click that too much, it'll get really big. So you do want to be careful, you know, as far as uh, setting up your DP settings. Um, you, you only have to go just a little bit to get to be, you know, where you want to go. So I'm going to go ahead and shut that off for now. Um, and uh, continue on with this. We're going to slide to the right. It's going to bring up the notifications. Uh, your panel, uh, quick settings are up first. These are all of your quick setting, um, you know, uh, choices that you guys have. Um, you have your advanced toggles and all that. Uh, weather, uh, this does give you your uh, temperature settings up there uh, if you want to run with that. I like that option. I think it's awesome that they, uh, that they do have that in there. Um, custom header image, which is cool too. Uh, it's your basic standard um, you know, header images that everybody's running with nowadays. Uh, I do tend to run two or three apps from the Play Store uh, that give me uh, custom header images. Carbon ROM is one of them, um, or it's called Carbon Headers. Uh, I also run... Uh, J Rod's headers, uh, and I run six uh, header themes. So uh, right now I'm running Miscellaneous. Uh, one of my favorites, of course, is Gravity Falls. Uh, I love that show. I don't know why, but I do. Um, so that's that. Uh, let's see. Um, you can go if you want to go a static instead of dynamic. You can go static. Uh, pick that. Then what you want to do is you want to uh, pick on Browse Installed Headers. Uh, you know, hit the drop down. Pick the one you want. Uh, like Gravity Falls, and then you want to long press on the picture that you like the most, and it will put that one picture in permanently for you, if that's the way you want to run it. Uh, let's see, you have your shortcuts, uh, settings, you know, disable all of those underneath that, and then of course we have our tiles or, and our uh, uh, rows and columns set up. Uh, guys, uh, they do allow you to go the rows longer than or more than five. I highly recommend you don't. Right now I have mine set to five. And I can barely use the bottom row. If you go six or seven, you just threw those two rows away. So don't go more than five. Or you, it's going to be unusable, okay? Um, let's see. Uh, and then you have your animation as far as your, uh, your tiles go, and they are down there. Now, I am running with a different uh, recording app this time, guys. It's called DU uh, as opposed to the AZ screen recorder I use, uh, that I'm used to using. Um, so if something happens to the video, please forgive me. I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm trying this out, trying new things. So uh, notifications are up next. Uh, these are your notification settings, uh, your power for notification controls. If you guys are into that, that's where that's at. Um, you know, force expanded, disable immersive, your flashlight notifications, do not disturb, which I like to do not disturb. Um, that actually gives you that do not disturb switch in your volume settings if you want that. Uh, heads up or there. I usually keep mine off, but you guys can run with it uh, if you want. And then your uh, tickers all the way at the bottom. Um, slide to right is going to bring out the nav bar. Uh, it, this does have DU nav bar in it. Um, I'm running uh, standard uh, as far as navigation goes. A smart bar, you guys can go fling. I will show you what the fling settings are. Uh, these are the fling settings here. Oops, I, I guess I went kind of fast. I'll, I'll go through them a little bit slower so you guys can see them. Uh, if you want to, uh, you know, expand on it a little bit more, uh, just pause it. Um, you know, that way you can read uh, all the different settings in here. Uh, now I'm going to go, I'm going to try to go back. Uh, I'm going to go back into the smart bar. Uh, we'll pull up the smart bar settings so you guys can see what the settings are for that. And those are your smart bar settings. Uh, and, of course, it comes with Pulse, which is awesome. I love Pulse. And those are your settings for Pulse. That's pretty much it for your nav bar. Uh, we're going to swipe to the right. It's going to bring up the Recents. You do have the Recents UI. Right now, I'm running into Grid. Trying it. Uh, if we go in, this is what the Grid looks like. It just gives you all of your, um, your Recents kind of in a little Grid pattern like that. And I'm used to seeing this on my, uh, my Huawei devices, so I thought I'd give it a try. Um, if you don't want to use it, uh, let me see if I can figure out where to go back. If you don't want to use it, um, you can always just switch that back to uh, cards. Uh, it's going to do a system UI restart. Uh, let it go ahead and do its thing. And we're almost there. Come on, baby. <laughs> and we're there. I just want to make sure I'm still recording. I think I am, so we're going to continue. So now if I hit the recents, uh, it's just going to be the standard uh, recents that we're used to, okay? 
So I'm going to go ahead and go back. If you swipe to the right, it brings up lock screen settings. This is your lock screen UI. Uh, double tap to sleep anywhere. You know, you got your lock screen torch. Um, you, underneath that's going to be all of your items. Uh, and then you have your uh, lock screen weather, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then hide weather panel, uh, service settings, uh, media art color, uh, media art, media cover art, and then uh, display music visualizer is all the way at the bottom. Uh, lock screen shortcuts. If you guys want to run with them, they do have center screen shortcuts, which is awesome. If you guys are into that, it's got it. Uh, they have the center screen shortcuts, uh, shortcuts, long presses. Uh, and then, of course, you have your bottom shortcuts uh, called lock screen uh, corners. We're going to go back. Uh, we're going to slide to the right. That brings up the system. Uh, general tweaks. Uh, these are your toast icon, media scanner, you know, uh, disable force notifications, all that. Uh, three finger, uh, three finger <laughs> screenshot. Uh, and then you got your screenshot type, uh, delay, all of that. Um, wake, uh, your wake lock blocker and your uh, uh, alarm uh, blocker down the bottom. I wouldn't mess with that. Um, you guys can really screw things up if you don't know what you're doing with that. But it is there, okay? Uh, and, and if you know what you're doing with that, you can really save a lot in your battery. Next up is going to be blur, which is another awesome feature. I really love blur. Um, you guys know, if you know anything about me and, and have been following me at all, I am trying to build my own ROM right now for the Nexus 6. Um, and I'll probably expand it out to the 6P, maybe the Nexus 9. Uh, but I, this is one of the features I do want to add into it if I can. Um, I love blur. I, I think it really makes the ROM look nice. So these are your blur settings. Uh, animations are next. Uh, I'm not really much into the animations. Um, I think they're kind of just, you know, uh, it's it's okay. Uh, you know, if you're into that, um, you know, you have all your animations there. You can pick and choose from them uh, however you want. Uh, next up is going to be your buttons. Uh, power menu is here. Uh, quite a few options on the power menu. Uh, just like another, uh, you know, guys know my favorite, uh, Six ROM. Uh, has a lot of uh, things to choose from for the power menu. I use this like most people use their quick settings. Uh, so, you know, uh, good on them uh, for putting those in there. Um, your volume rockers, uh, underneath that, basically all the settings that you can do with the volume rocker controls are underneath that. Uh, let me see, system app remover, guys. I highly suggest you do not mess with this. Um, make a backup before you do. Um, if you uh, get rid of the wrong um, you know, system app, you're going to screw everything up. So just letting you guys know uh, ahead of time. That's pretty much it for the custom settings. Um, if you guys do root it, uh, root will show up in here uh, along with Substratum. Neither of these are included. You have to download them, uh, but they will show up in the system settings, which is cool. And it does include app ops. Uh, so if you guys are uh, into the app ops, um, that's where it's at. Uh, it is there. Um, and you guys can play with it to your heart's content. Uh, under display, uh, pretty much standard. Um, I didn't really see anything that jumped out at me that, uh, you know, was over the top or anything different than any of the other ones. So I want to get rid of my suggestions. Uh, and I do usually go for sound, let you guys see what's underneath the sound settings. Uh, it does have the link, uh, ringtone and volume. I love that feature. Um, I like having my ringtone and my notifications in different, uh, so I can turn, uh, well, not the media, so I can turn my notifications and my ringtones down, which I should have already done. Um, and when I flashed this, I had no problems at all uh, with uh, any sound issues. So that, that whole sound thing uh, that, that happened around the first of the year, uh, that's gone. So guys, you, can, uh, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, I'm going to touch base with security real quick, let you guys see the, uh, the security settings in here. Uh, make sure you have your unknown sources turned on if you want to uh, sideload anything. And we're going to go down to the uh, uh, developer options which there's not a lot in the developer options. Um, most of the uh, options other than your Android debugging, make sure you have that turned on. Um, believe me, guys, this is going to save your ass if you hit a wall. Um, but most of the other settings are uh, basically built into the uh, custom settings. This does come with a local terminal, which I love. Again, uh, if you guys know what a, uh, what a terminal does and what you can do with it, it's a very powerful tool. Um, kudos on the developer for throwing that in there as well. Um, that's about it. Uh, I will let you guys see what the animations are. I didn't change them. So as flash is running 0.75, uh, on all three categories. Um, and it's smooth. It's running great, especially with, uh, um, Revintex kernel. I, I think it's running great. Outstanding. 
Um, I'm going to go let you guys see this one more time. Uh, we're going to click on About Us. This is their GitHub, uh, Google+, Plus, Telegram, uh, all that. This is where you can go to uh, get more information on it. Um, if you guys know anything about GitHub, you know, go there, check it out. You can see all the changes that are being made. Uh, you can follow them if you're a member of GitHub, uh, if you have your own account and are building your own. Um, change logs, uh, of course, um, it, this does have the updater in it. Uh, I don't know if it works, haven't tried it yet. Uh, I'm sure it does, um, but uh, that's pretty much it. So guys, this is AOSP Extended. This was a, um, a request uh, review. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, I've been running it uh, ever since um, I was asked to do it. Uh, and it is a very, very nice ROM. Um, I would definitely put this right up uh, into my top, say, my top five ROMs. Um, that's how much I like it. All right, guys, if you liked the video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. I want to thank all of my subscribers. You guys are the best, and uh, I will see you on the next one.